Hey guys, thank you for clicking into this video and my name is Tatha Gata and this is Tatha Art Lovers channel and guys today we are going to see uh, a portrait and how the portraits are made so I am going to share some of my tips which I uh, personally um, use or I am using uh, nowadays so I keep on changing my strategies while I am doing the portrait so this portrait is on Kangana Ranawat so who is an Indian actress I am sure all of you all you know know her and if you don't know her just go and google her and she's an actress in Bollywood and uh, guys I met her once and which was a very good moment and uh, when I used to work in London I used to work near red carpet where Kangana Ranawat and uh, Kangana Ranawat you know uh, stayed somewhere nearby so I used to stay there and work there as well so guys uh, I had that big moment which I have captured in my camera in 2013 I met her uh, no no I am uh, I'm sure it was on 2012 so I met her and such a gem of a person she is her nature uh, was really really sweet adorable I'm sure you will like it and once I met I remember Kangana said that once I told her I was discussing about few things uh, she asked me that oh, what do you do I said that mostly I do painting but I also do work I have to survive but yeah that way but uh, you know my passion is painting once uh, immediately after hearing that she said that once you will post in the social media and, and I will be able to see it and I will remember your name so let's see I'm gonna post into her uh, account in uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram if I can let's see uh, if she still can recognize I'm sure she forgot me so that doesn't matter as long as I have done it well you guys will give me a lot of support I know that so guys let's see how it goes and I'm gonna share you all the tips which I personally use so thank you let's move on to the video thank you bye Hey guys, welcome to my canvas. Uh, before painting, you should uh, know how to draw. So, for drawing, it's uh, absolutely imperative that you know understand the uh, different ratio. everybody has uh, their own ratio that's why they look different uh, trying to do a particular portrait this uh, actually makes the life tougher but uh, don't worry so I'm gonna tell you like what are the tools you can use so guys you need a mechanical pencil as you can see I'm using a 0.51 so if you are a beginner you can go ahead with 0.7 because if you are doing with 0.5 then you have to put less pressure onto the canvas uh, in order to you know uh, erase it properly whenever you need to. I have started getting the face which looks like uh, Kangana but it's I am pretty much happy uh, so far the uh, thing is that uh, there are um, portrait artists who can uh, directly you know start painting with their um, brushes but I would prefer to do it with uh, 
uh, pencil because here uh, the thing is that I don't want to waste paint until I'm really satisfied uh, with the drawing so for the drawing i do i can but sometimes i feel like i need to use sometimes too much of white after uh, putting black because i need to erase also so yeah so maybe after down the line five to ten years i'll be able to do the um, uh, drawing with the brushes directly uh, i still do while i'm doing the wildlife and all but in the portrait i do not take risk because at the end people will actually have a look at how perfect you were uh, uh, for doing that particular person's uh, portrait so guys here i am using the scale constantly and i am uh, looking at my subject which is in my phone and i am trying to uh, understand the ratio between uh, the all uh, parts of the faces like the nose and like the eyes and uh, usually people i have seen they start with the eyes but i uh, uh, actually want to know that how big my face is in terms of my canvas size first i do the general shape and then i put the eyes and you can actually the ideal style if you really want to be perfect you have to start with the eyes first uh, this is my own uh, you know everybody has their own comfort zone so I, I, i'm utilizing my comfort zone in order to achieve the um, same result so guys you can be flexible with that but i i would suggest sometimes if you are starting with the eyes then face will become too big in respect to the canvas size so which is why i don't do it and yeah you can have a, a bigger canvas and you can do it and uh, there's no problem with that so here guys uh, as i uh, always say that always start with the darkest part so which is the peach black try to spot it down if there is nothing which is peach black so nearest uh, uh, dark color you pick pick up and try to start with that so i started with the hair which uh, will help me to understand a fair you know shape of the um, face so uh, here we are as you can see now the face is now popping up and you can see the exact size of the size of the face and uh, and now guys the eyebrows uh, the the uh, eye pupil i don't know uh, do you call it pupil yeah maybe the the black part of the eye uh, i am doing and then uh, slowly slowly i am moving on to the next darkest one so first the darkest one then the second darkest one then more lighter 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 then finally we'll go ahead uh, to the towards the highlights so <clears throat> this is the uh, rule which every artist every portrait artist follows and i am also not the exception but uh, sometimes what happens if you are since i am doing it with the acrylic painting sometimes we run out of options when there are excess colors so guys <coughs> in the background i have uh, given ultramarine blue and uh, white and uh, i normally use the um, zinc white when i am not doing highlights but when i am doing highlights then i move on to titanium white especially guys first two to three, three layers i am going to be using the bottle color which is uh, acrylic bottle color of fevicryl i don't use the camel or camlin one guys i have already made a video why don't i use the camlin one camlin tends uh, uh, camlin uh, bottle color especially uh, you know tend to scatter uh, it almost seems like the pigment doesn't hold that uh, that that magnet action is not there if you put a little bit of water 
so it doesn't hold much onto the canvas and yes some of you must be arguing that maybe i did not prime my canvas the, the in the same canvas i have uh, used both of the bottle color but i uh, came up with a conclusion that fabricrill bottle color is pretty much good and this will almost give you a artistic uh, sensation or artist uh, outcome while you are using the uh, fabricrill bottle here i am using uh, nothing else there is a uh, color called uh, flesh tint guys please remember flesh tint you can ask real shop they will help you uh, buying that so i am using directly that if you don't want to use that want to mix the flesh color i am going to tell you so you have to you have to use the carmine red and you have to use yellow ochre then little bit of uh, ultramarine blue and little bit of white and then a uh, little bit of black you can use and then you will get the desired color so remember uh, the yellow ochre and the carmine red uh, you have to use little bit more then you have to use white more and then less of ultramarine blue and the black you have to use and then you will get the and if you you know change the ratio a little bit you have to keep on mixing it until you get the real um, you know desired uh, flesh tone so for the flesh tone i would recommend like just go for a fabricrill bottle color and the name of the color is flesh tint so guys uh, i hope this is going to be helping you a lot this is going to be making your life really easy it did uh, make my life really easy as you can see as i am gradually moving on now this is not looking like kangana ranawat uh, this is looking little bit of but you know until i tell you you will not recognize who is this so guys what i have done you are going to see later on uh, i have you know finished it then i realized that this is not looking like kangana ranawat and then i you know i slept well then came back again to the canvas next day then i realized what are the mistakes so guys this is a very important tip uh, you should not uh, miss this when you are you know you are in front of the canvas and working on the same project for hours like i have done it for i think 3 and 1/2 hours first day and the next day i did some touch up and it became the proper one so i mean to say if you keep looking at the same thing then and you are making uh, making it then you will not understand what are the mistakes or what are the adjustments you have to do in order to look like the exact uh, person whom you are uh, you know making portrait uh, i suggest just you know go somewhere or take a break and then think about something else then you come back everything just start looking at the canvas like an audience who loves art but you haven't done that as if like somebody else ha has done that and you are just looking at it and you are just trying to see what it is and then everything will come in front of your eyes and the what are the mistakes what are the flaws but where you need the adjustments and then note it down guys note it down what i do i take a picture in my mobile and then i uh, look at it later on while i'm working i'm doing something else look at it later on then i realize oh my god this is the mistakes i it was not spotted by me while i was looking at at it for so long but later i found out <laughs> so guys this is a 
a very easy and quick tip to fix anything where you are saying that this is finished but something is pinching you back that oh my god there must be some adjustments but i am not able to find it out so guys now just uh, look at this uh, look at the picture properly the 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 you know small vein on the forehead because he's laughing everything i have you know portrait whatever is there in the subject but still something is missing what is missing kangana ranawat is i met personally as i said in the introduction she is not uh, healthy she is not that fat so she has got lot of a lot of water retention in her face which is uh, not what kangana ranawat is i met her personally i know i saw her she she is a very thin and skinny woman and i now uh, am desperate to understand that what went wrong what went wrong but finally i found it when i saw or looked at the picture after 2 3 days and then i everything became very evident that where i went wrong so now uh, you will see in the end how it will look perfect so guys now i am al- almost done so guys once whenever you are going to the uh, shadow area of a place so always use little bit of uh, blue because blue uh, color tends to go further so whenever i am you going uh, uh, darkest area i am using with the flesh tone i am using little bit blue black and little bit of white just to make sure that her skin doesn't go like very very uh, dark uh, as you can see i still i am struggling to get the shape as you can see the, the left cheek i have made it little bit smaller but still it is not what kangana ranawat looks like uh, every proportion i have rechecked uh in terms of first uh, i took the eyes the length of the eyes and then i you know measured with uh, the nose i measured with the uh, lips and even i measured with the the total height of the face and the width of the face but still it was not very evident what went wrong so the nose i have made it little bit wider top portion of the nose now exactly looking like kangana guys leave me in the comment like how did i do how did it go this is uh, also another tip like whenever you do the hair please do it with the broad brush and don't do with the small brush first and then when it will go little bit lighter in color like for the highlight area then go for the small brush guys uh with that said thank you for joining me and uh, please subscribe for more guys uh, if you want similar kind of video or i do lot of landscapes and stuff so the lot of exciting stuffs will be coming in this uh, channel so guys for right now signing off and thank you guys take care